we need to talk about Twilight Masquerade, and I touched on this in a recent video, but I feel like it needs its dedicated video. Just so, just want to make you guys aware of where it's at and what's happening. So, Twilight Masquerade booster boxes. Look, I mean, look at this chart. Three month chart up 27%. One month chart 14%. Just crazy gains. It has the Greninja right. Um, it's been a really hyped set, but I mean, we'll zoom out to the one year too, just real quick. Uh, 19%, I mean, pre-release were selling at 132. These went as low as 100, 101. Could have had these boxes for $101, but look where we're at now. Recent solds, 164, 164, 168, 167. 168, there's a 162, 169. These are approaching 170. So why am I bringing this up? If you guys aren't familiar, uh, the new MSRP uh, for the booster boxes is like 161, I think. So what does that mean? Well, we'll check on eBay too, just to show you guys. This was the most recent sold on eBay, 161.63. Okay, this, these are loose packs. This is Japanese. This is a fake box. Don't buy these at 85. Check the seller. It's th this is fake, okay, at the bottom. Don't buy those. Okay, um, but this is the Pokemon Center website. This is the official place where you can buy Pokemon cards directly from the Pokemon Center. 161. 64 is the MSRP for these boxes. Now, not everybody, depending on where you live, you can't buy from the Pokemon Center. They won't ship everywhere. So not everyone is going to have access to these. Hence, these prices. That's why this is happening. Also, not everybody knows about the Pokemon Center. It's just the truth. The reality of it is uh, that not everybody knows. Okay. So the reason I'm bringing this up is just to make you guys aware. Once this set, because now people, once they see this price, they're going to start going to the Pokemon Center to buy their boxes because they're going to be cheaper. Okay. Also, just so you guys know, a lot of the time you can get a sealed case from the Pokemon Center. It says purchase limit of six. If you buy six from the Pokemon Center, um, in my experience in the past, I've done this and I've gotten a sealed case. So they will ship the case just like that. So the case can get a little beat up, but the boxes will be safe inside. Just so you guys are aware. Okay. Now, this happened not that long ago with like Lost Origin. It sold out. Um, it was the old MSRP was like 143, I think. Uh, and once it sold out on the Pokemon Center, it really shot up. So I just want to make you guys aware. I don't know. We don't know how much stock the Pokemon Center has. We don't know how long it's going to last. Uh, but usually it goes out of stock when it sells out. And then they do like a small restock, sometimes even two. They'll put like whatever boxes they have left, they'll put them up. And sometimes that happens a few times. It doesn't always, it depends, right? Um, but I just wanted to make you guys aware because this set is looking to shoot up already, which is honestly wild. Uh, but it's because the Greninja is doing things. We'll, we'll touch on that. But, um, oh, these are, so this, these are the most expensive products for sealed and singles. Um, we're going to take a look at uh, some of the other, the singles and stuff a little more up close. We'll start with the Greninja. Okay, so. The Greninja is, this was this was one of my favorite cards from the set when I was looking at it before. Um, I didn't like the set as a whole, but I did like the Greninja. I did not, I don't think anybody thought it would be at the price that it's at. Um, there was a TCG Player Infinite article that was written, I don't think it was a few weeks ago now. They were talking about how um, the, 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 like, well, we'll zoom out to the one year here, that this spike, like it came down and then when it's, when it spiked up, it was supposedly, possibly from one person kind of doing a buyout and it kind of ran the price up and then it just started FOMO. Um, either way, it doesn't matter. Like it doesn't matter what got the card to where it is. The point is it got up here and I mean, it's come off the $300 mark, but it's bouncing back a little. It's held. So 9% um, gain in the past three months and it's actually down a little bit in the past month, down 3%, but it kind of seems like it's maybe bouncing off right here coming off that 266 mark um last solds we're seeing 285 289 so it looks like this card may be bouncing back up a little bit but super interesting um on the greninja super interesting in the set as a whole um just from my perspective i found it fascinating um so yeah the greninja is the main reason why these probably why the boxes are doing so well people want the greninja but there's also a lot of other cards that are valuable in the set like the carmine However, for the Carmine, if you guys look at this chart right here, uh, down 27% in the past three months and an additional 8% in the past month. 
we zoom out to the one year, it's down. Obviously, pre-release prices are always inflated, okay? It went 120, then it dipped down to 88, went back up to 120, and it's just slowly been declining. Um, cool looking trainer card. I like the the food and stuff. Anyways, we're not, we're not going to get too into the, the art, but um, it's, a, it's a trainer card. These usually do better in Japanese, um, but down 37%. I mean, <clears throat> this is kind of more expected, like kind of what a lot of people expected a lot of the other cards to do, just steadily decline after release. Um, but it's not the case with all the cards. So we have the uh, Perrin. This is, I like this card. This is a connected art card, if you guys aren't familiar. Um, the Growlithe that's in the lens. Anyways, you can see like the other, uh, like her feet in the Growlithe um, when she's taking the photo. I like the connected art cards. I think they're really fun. Um, so this SIR trainer card is down 12% in the past three months. Only 2%, almost 3% in the past month. And then same thing, you can kind of see the pre-release prices. About 80 bucks down and then back up to 80. And then it's been all over the place. It went as low as 65, so it's on a little bit of a bounce back. But last solds on this, we're seeing 67 dollars $68 on the parent. Then we have the Eevee. The Eevee is a really cool, fun card. I like all the Eevees on here. This is, I don't, I do not own this card because I thought this card was going to crash a little bit more. Uh, which is unfortunate. Um, I could have had an opportunity to pick it up in the forties. I didn't pick it up. Anyways, um, can't have every, I can't have every card out there, right? So the Eevee, this is a card that I do want to add to my collection at some point. But anyways, back to the point. The point being, it is up 20% in the past month alone. You see a big number of sales right here. 54 sales at the $50 mark. It ran up to 56. It's kind of come back down a little. Um, last sold's 53, 50, but one as high as 74. Um, I think these other ones were, it's not letting me click on these. I think theirs were Japanese, but I think they just added Japanese to TCG player today. So I'm not sure how that's going to work. Um, unfortunately the chart is weird on EV. I don't know why it's not showing. It's like glitch or something. Um, but we can see the one year 25 out the gate and then it just climbed as high as 61 so not at its one year high but um still at a very good price uh super super adorable card we have another um sir this is the blood moon ursa luna which artwork wise i really like this card i love all the pokemon in the background super adorable um but it's kind of on the decline as well down almost 20 percent in the past three months and another almost two percent in the past month and this one see this is what we normally see off of release right is just this crash comes out high 100 bucks and just slowly and steadily into that 30 dollar range which pull rates being what they are i mean that's not a bad price for this card um i do like this card so yeah this is more typically what we see so some of these cards bucking the trend but a lot of them following as well uh then we have the kieran uh, sir here it down 13.8 percent in the past month um the charts bugged out again uh, unless there really is no sales, but that's not true. Um, but yeah, that's not, last sold's 40 bucks, two uh, copies today. I don't know why some of the charts are glitched out, but um, the one year came out at 41, down to 32, up to 57, and now it's in the 30s. But uh, yeah, two last solds at 40 on the Kirin. Then we got the uh, Teal Mask uh, here, down 18% past three months uh nine percent over the past month and see this one it's following the blood moon ursa luna this is typically what we see down 52 percent pre-release prices are usually way too high 69 dollars and it just has slowly been uh declining there so yeah this is a little bit more typical we got the lana's aid here uh down 17 percent on the past three months 14% in the past month alone, and then we'll zoom out and see if, what the chart looks like. So this chart came out high, 73, hovered in the $30 range, and then bumped up into the 40s, and now it's down into the high 20s, with last solds being 29, 27, 28. There also was two 33s back here, so around 30, a little bit under $30, depending on uh, your timing on Lana's aid. We got, uh, I think these cards, some of these cards are up because of uh, playability right now um but 20 down 25 percent on the past three months and about flat in the past month same similar chart this is what you kind of expect to see uh, for most cards 
eighty-one dollars all the way down to in the twenties. So very standard um, decline there. The Sinistra, uh thirteen percent down the past three months, and it's bouncing back a little. It's up almost five percent in the past month. Um, in this chart, it looks like a few of the others. It had the up, down, up, down again. So this was as low as nineteen. Um, that's kind of where it's at now a little bit. I mean, we got an $18 sale here, so <clears throat> not one of the stronger cards from the set. Um, we're going to look at a few sealed products here. This is the Pokemon Center ETB. Uh, this one hasn't really been performing very well. I think people just don't really like the promo, the stamp promo as much. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's not going to do well in the future because we're seeing a lot of these Pokemon Center ETBs performing extremely well. Um, but down almost 8% in the past three months and another 7.6% in the past month. And then, yeah, see, it's same thing. Pre-release, some people bought these high 150, um, which is wild. You may be wondering why. Like I said, maybe some people couldn't order from the Pokemon Center, so they had to buy in the third-party market, and they bought before release at 150. So um, that's probably the reason. We don't know for sure, but some people could just be dumb. But <clears throat> if I had to guess, I would assume somebody who doesn't have access. But yeah, just it declined real quick uh, down into the... <clears throat> excuse me, $71 range. Um, then we have the regular ETB, which is actually performing better. On the three-month chart, we're seeing a 26% gain. Uh, it's a little more flat, about 3% in the past month, just a little gain. Um, and overall, see, because this is a new release, same thing, it went high. Um, looks like it went as low as 34 yeah, around $34 for the regular ETB. So, when you start to look at this, and you start to look at some of the singles, you look at the sealed, um, really what you see at the end of the day is the Greninja. The Greninja is holding up the set. People want to chase it. And the uh, the supply and demand for the boxes, obviously the demand is there. Even at this price point, like this is very interesting. This is one of the things that Honestly, I, I thought we might not see this for a while from the Scarlet and Violet era. Like once we when we started out with, with base and um, Paradox and Obsidian, the boxes were real cheap. Um, the demand wasn't there. But Twilight, well, I mean, Paldea was doing well. Um, it didn't always do amazing. But Paldea is the other set. The, it's a little bit behind Twilight as far as prices go um, on singles and uh sealed but twilight literally literally single-handedly flipped the script on the scarlet and violet era and yeah it's it's pretty much the greninja the greninja is carrying the set not that there's not other cool cards and other cards that have value but as you guys saw when we looked at the charts we saw a lot of them a lot of those cards had the typical release fall off kind of thing happening um, and the Greninja being the main exception, obviously there was the EV, you know, um, the EV as well, but I think, I think it's mainly the Greninja carrying the set. So I just wanted to make this video to make you guys aware about, of what's about to happen. If you guys aren't familiar with the Pokemon center, the MSRP, all of that. So we saw this happen recently with some sword and shield boxes, and it's just going to be interesting to see what happens. Um, there is also the conversation of reprints it is possible that twilight will get a reprint but based off what the com pokemon company has kind of been doing lately if there is a reprint it might not be very big um they've kind of it, it's hard to tell like they can they can print more and we'll i think we'll have a much better idea after this holiday season kind of where they're at but we we don't know if there's a reprint how big will it be um we don't know so that is one thing uh to take into account because twilight's still a new set it just came out in what like may i think yeah so it's it's not even close to a year old yet so keep that in mind but that is the whole wildness of this set being so new and already with the potential to be sold out in the pokemon center uh blows my mind so this is something that I'll be keeping a close eye on, and I just wanted to make you guys aware uh, that this was potentially happening. So um, that is Twilight Masquerade. That's why we needed to talk about it. Um, let me know what you guys think about Twilight as a whole. 
and I will catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never phase.